the last decade, the entire SUNY system has lost more than 100,000 students. So today, Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen asked the new SUNY Chancellor what he's going to do about that. What, what's going on there? Where's everybody going? You know, there are, there are a few elements. One is there are parts of the state that have lost population. Look at the SUNY enrollment chart over the past 10 years. All lines point down. John King says a good market means some people go straight into a job. And there are two million New Yorkers with some college, but no degree. And we've got to work hard to get those students to come back, finish their degree. Is part of your job to increase enrollment? Absolutely. And, and to increase the student experience and to increase completion. We've got to make sure that students don't just start, but finish. King is the 15th chancellor of SUNY. He used to be the commissioner of education in New York, responsible for kindergarten through 12th grade. He was one of Barack Obama's education secretaries. Both of his parents died before he turned 12, and he says public education saved his life. I asked him about changes he's going to make. How about a change in the short term that people might notice? Well, one thing that we're already working on is making it easier for students who um, might not get into their first choice school to know uh, what other options they might have within the SUNY system. And how does that going to work? Well, once the student finds out that they haven't gotten into their first choice school, we'll be able to convey to them that here's a program that has similar elements that's available on another campus. 90% of the enrollment drop in SUNY is in the community colleges. Since I asked the chancellor what change he's going to make, I thought I'd ask a student what change she wants to see. Watch her on News 10 NBC at 6 talk about more help for students' mental health. Deanna?